What if I told you there's an AI that can plan your trip, book your reservations, generate videos, and even build websites, funnels, and full-on games? Now, most AI tools just talk a good game. They give answers, sure, but they can't take action. They can't do. And that's the gap that we seem to be closing. Think about the last time that you had to plan something, a trip, a pitch, a project, you probably jumped between 10 different tabs, a spreadsheet and three apps and still had to call ahead and book a restaurant or a hotel. Now that's hours of your life that you're just not gonna get back. Now with GenSpark Super Agent, this does it all in minutes. It plans, it researches, it even calls, it creates and it even fact checks and thinks ahead. And it's built on something that most agents don't have, which is a real toolkit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how the Super Agent planned a full trip to San Diego with custom preferences and how it called a restaurant and booked a table with a human voice. I'm also gonna show you how it can generate personalized videos with full animation scenes without touching an editing tool. There's so many other features to go through as well and this isn't just a concept. It's live now and it's made to work for you. All right, let's dive into GenSpark and when you hit genspark.ai, it's probably gonna ask you to sign up to a free account. Now, it'll give you a certain amount of credits for free but then you probably wanna to wanna to upgrade. Now, I have, I think it's about $30 a month and obviously there's an annual uh, subscription as well. So if you're gonna do anything taxing on GenSpark, you're probably going to need to upgrade. Now, something to note is it does run like nine different LLMs, which is pretty impressive. So it's pulling together kind of all that information from the large language models, and it picks and chooses kind of when to and which ones to use. It also uses over 80 specialized tools, and you'll see this when we prompt it. So let's just ask it a simple, simple prompt, like who's winning the Masters right now? And you'll see it'll start to kind of use different tools. So it starts to think, and then it's using a tool here. So it's searching, and then it will probably use like a read tool. And then it can go to like images. Um, I can see here. So it starts to use all these different tools and kind of pull together that information. So we can see here, it's pulled through this accurate information. Justin Rose is eight under. Another thing to notice as well, it kind of values transparency and unbiased opinions, which is pretty cool. So you can do things like fact checking, uh, and it's not kind of leaning in certain ways. It's not kind of making information up. Again, it may sometimes hallucinate. Um, I haven't seen anything yet, but I don't have all the answers as well. So again, I think it's a lot more powerful in terms of it's not got any kind of bias and it's not leaning certain ways. So there is obviously different AI agents. We've got kind of the super agent and this is something I'm gonna dive into. We've kind of got deep research. We can now see it actually calls for you, which is a new feature, which is pretty cool. We've got fact checks and then we've got, got data tables as well. We've also got image studio so we can create kind of uh, do things with images like background remover, erasers, expand, try-ons and things like that. So similar to kind of like chat GPT 4.0 image generator. And then we've got video generation as well. So I'll show you that in a second. So another key thing about GenSpark as well is it actually creates like Spark pages and you'll see these indexed in Google as well. So like now if you search certain things on GenSpark, you start to see other people's searches and it's kind of condensing that information. And then you've got something called Copilot that you can have like, have like a conversation with it, which is pretty cool. So let's kind of dive into some of these tools and these super agents. So this one is like, please create a visually stunning San Diego, San Diego itinerary for me. So what the tool did was it did a travel, um, kind of used the travel tool and then kind of planned out these three days. And you can see here, like it's dynamically, we can view these details. And then it gave me kind of this full um, kind of breakdown of everything that we're gonna do. And this is just an example. Um, but I just kind of want to run you through this. And then it kind of dived into using the image uh, searches and then did more image searches. And it's all doing this within like 20, 30, 40 seconds, which is quite impressive. Then it used maps and then it kind of used the search to read the image search. And then it went through um, and we prompted it again and asked, can we have a kind of seafood restaurant outside? And then it obviously checked the images and things like that. And then it looked at kind of all the options and then it asks AI if you want to call it. Now the AI will actually call for you. And I'm gonna put up an example or a demo of it on the screen right now. Please press one. Hi, Jillian. I'd like to make a dinner reservation. Um, yeah, for what day? April 26th, please. Actually, one person has a shellfish allergy and another is vegetarian. And then do we have a preference on seating? Would you like a booth, window table, or enclosed patio outside? A window table would be perfect if that's available. Per 
Perfect. So I'll, I have the reservation set for Saturday, April 26th. So that's super impressive. So like now we're seeing the bridge between actually giving us information and then AI calling for us. So again, dead easy to set up. You literally just kind of set it up in the back end. And then obviously it supports US and Canada and obviously Japan at the moment. But pretty impressive to start to see that actually it can now give us an itinerary, but then book things for us as well. So soon these are just going to be full on assistance and they're going to be doing work in the background for us uh, whilst we can obviously do other high value tasks. So that's just one example of like itineraries and it kind of being more like a personal assistant and calling for us. Next, we've got kind of deep research, um, which is pretty cool. Again, it will go into a lot of information. Um, if I just click on this example here, and it will show you kind of, it will start to pull together all this information. So we'll go for Smart Replay, and then you can see here, like it will start using different tools. Let's go jump to result. Um, but it'll spend a lot of time going through and fact checking as well and pulling together all this information. Um, again, deep research could be super powerful whether you're using it for kind of SEO or you're looking to kind of write a book or you're doing a lead magnet, anything like that. It's going to pull together all that information for you and obviously double check it and make sure it doesn't kind of hallucinate and give you false facts. Another thing that's pretty cool, which I ran a test on is I gave it a prompt and it built me a full website. So you can see here, this is just a preview. Um, it wrote, kind of gave me a, an overview of what I um, wanted and then it wrote this full code. So it, it took about two or three minutes, but it wrote all of this HTML code for me. And then I can preview it as well. So now you can see kind of a custom AI solutions for coaches and creators, and it built this full website for me. So I could take this code and just drop this into a uh, website, website builder, and it could be fully built for me. So again, really, really powerful. Um, looks great as well. Like again, looks amazing of how it's obviously created it. And you could obviously tweak that code um, and obviously go out and build not only just websites, but also like landing pages. You can build games on here. You can build like uh, quizzes, anything that you want to code it literally genspark can handle it especially their super agent as well uh, next was videos so i asked it to obviously just generate me a flyover of some videos and it used their model and built these kind of flyover videos and again you can start to piece together like reels and things like that which um you know you could start to create content whether it's on golfing whether it's on the gym whether it's on um cooking or anything like that you could obviously start to use this to piece together different um kind of videos again you've got these different models we can use here so we've got kind of kling pixverse luma labs gemini um, and then we can also do image to video as well so we can upload images um and obviously use them to create videos as well all right next we have uh like i said we've got that deep research so you can see here um, that deep, deep research model and then also we've got uh, agent data table so we can ask it like current uh well, here i've asked it like the global uh, cryptocurrency exchange trading volumes and then we can obviously pull through all this information for us and we can see kind of up-to-date information on what's happening um, and it's pulled from obviously different databases and different sites as well. So yeah, all in all, like I really like kind of where this is going. Like I said, the the super agent is, is really cool in terms of how it can like book that kind of, or plan that whole itinerary. And then obviously just call using an AI voice and directly call out, which I absolutely love. And they're obviously gonna add more features as well. Um, and there's, there's a lot more to come from GenSpark. So yeah, like I said, um, it's, really really cool to see the um they've obviously secured a lot of investment as well so they've got 60 million in seed funding which is cool um and obviously there's more features coming with this and this is just kind of where ai and large language models are going we're starting to see that kind of crossover and that bridge crossing where it's no longer just giving us information it can actually complete task for task for us as well if this video showed you what ai can do the next video linked up here shows you what ai can create i'm going to be walking you through 12 different examples from the chat gpt image generator from portraits to animations to full-on cinematic scenes and everything in between be sure to check out that video and i'll see you there